the world is only scratching the surface on what semen retention truly is. Today, in this video, I will explain to you the secret hidden benefit and experience that only a few ever get to understand and benefit from. A secret benefit that other channels can't quite explain and others have not reached the ultimate peak of semen retention. You might be asking yourself what the end goal of semen retention is. What happens to you once you have perfected all of the practices and you are transmuting your energy efficiently? Once you have done the internal work, where does this lead you to? Where is semen retention taking you? What is the end goal? Stay tuned until the end. I will show you the fruits of your labor. I will show you the outcome of your striving and persistence. I will show you the snake within. Side note, there are many of you who will reach my channel who do not understand or who are new to this journey, and this is for you. Semen retention is an art, an art of retaining and transmuting the energy in your everyday life, bringing this creative energy into the world through different means, be it your work as a chef or an architect. This life-transforming discipline through transmutation will allow you to uncover your true purpose here on this earth and the work you need to do to align with your higher self. Semen retention is a perfect light in this dark world, a way of life only a few conscious enough are able to experience. Now back to the video. Here we have a video that not many of us have seen, a familiar face. Yes, but a video that is not quite so mainstream. Jim Carrey, a household name. We've watched him act in our favorite movies and he's been entertaining us for years. This is his take on the serpent within which he describes as sexual alchemy. Do you know about, Very interesting. Uh, about Here we go. Uh, um, alchemical uh, sexual alchemy? Sexual alchemy. Yeah. I know alchemy. I'm talking about Tantra. I made a lot of money alchemy. on alchemy in the Do you know that the, <laughs> did the story of Jesus, how it's been altered in certain ways? I mean, yes, there was a guy. Yes, there was teachings, all that stuff. But is uh, there's 33 vertebrates in your spine. There's 33 years in the life of Jesus. Jesus Christ, yeah. Substance that comes from your medulla, which is basically completely looks like the uh, Ark of the Covenant has, has uh, angel's wings around it, the whole thing. This substance comes from your medulla, makes the tr trip down your spine to your sacrum, which is the, which is... Quick, get a dictionary. <laughs> Christ coming down into human form. Yes. And if you don't squander that essence, that sexual essence, it ascends again and goes back up to heaven, which is your thing. It's also the story of Santa Claus. Why he comes down the chimney is because this this juice or this what is, whatever substance actually passes what's called the claustrum, which is where they got Santa Claus. Uh -huh. So it goes down what the chimney the and back fuck? up the chimney. Uh -huh. It's all very freaky shit. Uh -huh. That's wild. The, the parallel between that and alchemical sex is that I, 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 I think he probably saved it, you know, so that he could be clear, so that he could be sharp. Huh. Yeah. I love Zamuda. Because, because I like how he Why continues. Why do sex him? <laughs> so close and yet so far. This is also an example of many of us who are on lone journeys, who have found some truth, but is sadly mixed with lies that will never be of use to you. Pay attention to the video so you make the most out of this and to protect yourself from the worst that could happen and that is that you waste your time. Jim Carrey certainly does have valid points in the examples he speaks of, and it definitely does correlate and mirror almost identically about what the serpent does and its purpose. Jim Carrey, unfortunately doesn't know, is that there are other ways to reach this perfect state, and to have the serpent travel up the spine stay tuned till the end of the video, to find out. Depictions of previous civilizations in paintings, stories, or idols all come to the conclusion that this power is one of the most powerful energies known to man, with the power to create or destroy. That being said, it is as if all of mankind is forced to follow this downward path and partake in this ceremony of sexual sacrifice, and it takes the ones with the most willpower to tame this serpent. The power of the serpent is that of material and physical pleasures, which lures humankind through our animalistic desires and biological impulses. The serpent itself offers the power of good and evil, and the individual has the free will to choose in which path it will take. From the dawn of time, 
It is the first story written I'm sure you are all familiar with, and that is of the serpent tempting man to partake in the sexual unknown. This serpent was named the Devil, or Shaitan in Hebrew. Only those with enough willpower are able to tame this, and will be able to transform from impulse-driven animals into intellectual-driven human beings, completing their life's purpose and illuminating the path for the future ones who wish to follow this path. This one battle that will last a lifetime, relentlessly working to defeat you day and night, right from the time you gained any type of sexual awareness. Fight hard, brothers, for this is the battle that will determine your success in this lifetime. Common knowledge lets us know that semen is emitted intentionally through the act of sex, PMO, or nocturnal emissions. That is where us retainers come in, unlocking our first step towards fulfilling our potential. However, the road ahead is long and will take a lifetime. Understand me when I say just retaining alone is not enough, but it is the first step in the process of awakening your higher form. What the reverse or inverse effect of the normal path of semen rather is, traveling up through the spine, intentionally upwards into the brain by means of breath work and meditation. This practice is the fruits of your labor, the benefits that you can truly capitalize on. This is definitely not common knowledge today, but in this day and age of information, the truth cannot be suppressed and will come to light. Once the semen has made it way up and through our 33 vertebrae, you all won't be able to understand more clearer your purpose in life. Getting into the flow phase, removing all barriers and veils that hold us back, blocking you from seeing who you truly are and aligning with your higher self. This is the form we should be striving to be in 24-7. Semen retention in of itself does have the benefits to help you reach your goals. But the secret and hidden benefit is ultimately the serpent's ascension. Now that you know what the hidden serpent is, it is time for you to find out how to tame this serpent. This secret benefit is what true enlightenment is, and if you perfect constant breathwork, you will be at that point of consciousness all times throughout the day, even in your sleep. This method of constant breath is no easy feat and is no joke. I'm working on that video right now, and it will soon be released on my channel, so stay tuned and turn on the notifications. Keep your eyes open for part two of The Serpent Within. Stay in the loop, brothers. Before I go, I see the comments under my videos, and I understand that the AI voice is not easy to listen to. I will be purchasing a mic, and you will be hearing my voice once I've hit 1,000 subscribers, and also explain to me why 97% of you guys have not subscribed. It just doesn't make sense to me, with all the brain rot that there is on YouTube causing you to lose your sense of self, destroying any semblance of a good life that you could have. Me speaking. The truth being suppressed confuses me. However, with all that is against me, the truth will prevail.